talk us through what what uh, you guys saw over the weekend. Yeah, well, it's pretty stark to see, isn't it, in those images, that, that slick of sewage pollution uh, discharging and, and impacting one of our most famous beaches here in Cornwall in St, St Agnes. Um, you know, that's, that's that sewage, but a chemical cocktail of sewage pollution, agricultural pollution, urban runoff. And you can see there the really clear line between that lovely, clean, um, crisp water and that, that plume of dirty pollution washing out onto the beach, the beach there. It's, it's quite stark and quite shocking, isn't it? It is, but the Southwest Water say that these kind of um, permitted storm overflows happen uh, because they have to free up space in their pipes and it, it's caused by climatic conditions. It's caused by the fact they say that it was, it's was it been very hot for such a long time that when we get a lot of rain, it just doesn't percolate into the, the ground as it should and it just goes into the overflow system. Well, look, you know, sewage pollution is only supposed to be discharged in exceptional circumstances, that's the law. And what we're seeing more and more is, is people out and about capturing these, these images, putting them on social media, um, you know, at the, at the slightest, slightest sign of rain. And we just wonder whether that is exceptional circumstances um, as per the law. So, you know, th this, is, this is pollution that's damaging our, our health, damaging our environment. And it's, it's something that you don't expect to see, but yet we're seeing it up and down the country on our beaches and in our rivers all the time. What real risk does it pose to health? Yeah, well, we collect, um, you know, sickness reports through our, our Safer Seas and Rivers service, our own, you know, the only real-time water quality information app. Um, it's free. Um, and, and we're seeing hundreds of sickness reports submitted to us every year. You know, stomach upsets, ear, nose and throat infections, eye infections, some people even being hospitalised after to entering water that's contaminated. Um, so it's a real issue with our, with our, with our health. You know, we, we want to enjoy these these environments for our mental health and well-being yet they're being polluted um, by all sorts of pollution let alone you know so agricultural pollution sewage pollution all kinds of things that being you know this chemical cocktail that's entering the environment but but do you accept that there is nowhere else for this to go if the water company's pipes and, and, and its reserves are full what else do you suggest they do with it well, look, we've seen decades of underinvestment in our sewage infrastructure. Um, we need to see urgent action taken by the water companies and the government to upgrade our systems, to invest in nature-based solutions, to slow down that uh, water through the environment, planting trees, reinstating wetlands, that kind of thing. And, you know, the, 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 the water industry are profiteering off this pollution. They're paying billions of pounds out in, in shareholder dividends, millions of pounds to CAOs and their bonuses, they're profiteering off this pollution. And we need to see um, a decade of ambition to really tackle this problem of sewage pollution. In terms of, of the pollution on this particular beach, how long will it be there for? How long will it be out of bounds to people who want to go out and enjoy the water? Well, the, the, the discharge itself has, has stopped, but we um, keep our notification live for, for, for 48 hours after that pollution incident um, has stopped occurring, just to allow for that dispersal of the water, to allow people to kind of ensure that it's as safe as possible before um, people go in. But ultimately, it's people people's own decision about whether it's safe to go in the water at that time. We, we put out notifications in real time as to where that sewage pollution is happening happening and when, um, but it's to allow people to make those informed decisions about when it's safe to enter the water and not. And clearly, as you're seeing there, you know, yesterday, it looked pretty, pretty shocking. Today, I've been down to the beach today, it's looking relatively clean, but we're st we've still got that pollution incident live, that warning live, just so um, we can make sure that that, that dispersal is happening and, and people can make those informed decisions about what the risks are. Okay, Amy Slack from S Surface Against Sewage. Good to see you. Thanks Thank so you very much. much.